this is the Launcher Launcher version 2.0 alpha build. You might be using it already but if you are not, you should give it a try. Yo what is up guys, this is Tiro back with another video and today let's talk about this Launcher Launcher because it is that good and simplistic. This launcher does have almost everything you would demand for like the Google Now cards to the left side of the home screen but I'm on Android Pi and here going to the app drawer isn't working from the home button. But you can always swipe up on the dock if you want to get the app drawer of this launcher. And as most Android devices is not running on Pi as of now, it is totally convenient. And as it is an alpha build, so you may notice minor frame drops here and there in the app drawer in the animations but after you complete setting up everything and using it for a couple of minutes it becomes much more stable with time. And you might notice some force closes right after you install the apk of the launcher launcher but they will be gone too after setting it up and using it completely. So again force closes are obvious as it's an alpha build but it's not that harsh once you start using the launcher as the force closes will be gone with time. You can swipe down anywhere on the home screen just to get the notification drawer which is a great feature and I really really love this feature. It is super convenient for me personally to get the notification drawer just by pulling down at the home screen anytime. And tapping and holding on the blank area of the home screen of course will get you to the options to choose from wallpapers, widgets or the launcher settings. So let me show you the launcher settings now. First of all we have theme and here we have the icon shape option as you can see where you will get square, rounded square, circle, teardrop etc shapes and I really love each of them. You can choose from different icon packs if you need to. You have the launcher theme option and you can change these light, dark and auto and you even get OLED option which is great for inky blacks if your device has an AMOLED display this would look awesome. You will get the blur controls over here which I am not using though. Next we have desktop settings. You can have the googles at a glance feature from here. We have the google now panel and notification dots option here. You can customize the grid size from here as you can see. You can scale the icon size from here. You can enable full width widgets which will cover completely the sides of the screen. From dock you can change the dock style to rounded, gradient, flat or transparent. You can enable search bar on the bottom and you can enable colored google logo if you want that on the search bar. You can set custom dock opacity controls over here. You have the show arrow option on the launcher which is a small arrow. And you can set number of icons on the dock itself. Inside app drawer you get the app suggestions displaying option which I don't personally like so I disabled it. You can directly google search from the app drawer itself. You have app hiding option in case you want some particular apps to be hidden from the app drawer and you're gonna get some more customizations for the app drawer here. From backups you can create a full backup of the home screen layout which I really really like and you can restore it after you change ROMs so that is a great thing for me in my opinion and I'm really a fan of this feature. So I can just restore the backup and chill out every time I flash a new ROM. Much more convenient than setting up the home screen all the time. And inside about you will see the developer's name and the launcher version is alpha. Widgets are working super fine on this launcher. And on the Redmi Note 5 Pro with Liquid Remix PyDOM, this launcher is running super fine. If you wanna install this launcher on your device, check the description box below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share this video with your friends if you feel it was worth a watch. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDNDX signing off for today and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.